Hi, Simone. I'm a trainer who sometimes stretches his clients out at their request. There is different opinions out there in the industry about how long you should stretch a muscle. Uh, is it, you know, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, one minute, two minute? What's your take on that? Well, first, you have to look at the reason why you're stretching somebody. And there's different types of stretching and all work, but what's optimal for your person? So you're looking at a 15 minute stretch, a 30 second stretch, or a two minute stretch. So in my opinion, well not in my opinion, actually in science, if you stretch a muscle too long, you actually engage the stretch reflex, which means the muscle's gonna really um, spasm and contract and shorten. So you don't wanna do that with a hypertonic, hyper, you know, like a muscle that's really um, excited. So how I stretch people is, is re-education. So re-education stretch is movement. So it is the re-education, moving it through a range and holding it at the end and releasing. So I do a count of like one, two, three, four, and go a little bit beyond that stretch and then release. And that actually re-educates the muscle. So that isn't a, um, a 10 second, but in 10 second that is optimal because you don't engage the stretch reflex. So in yoga, um, particularly like yin yoga and other um, types of yoga, they're stretching up to a minute to three minutes. And their philosophy with that is when you stretch longer, you actually engage the fascia. So you're going beyond the muscle and you can feel the burning of the fascia starting to open up. But that stretch only really works if you can engage the fascia yourself, which is difficult because you have to anchor the joint and actually relax the muscles and get the fascia stretch. So that's actually a really more advanced stretch that not a lot of people can do. But what I recommend is really the movement stretching, the re-education. Like you are saying, do 10 seconds, release, come back in. But one technique for strength coaches and athletic trainers is when you stretch this way, it's, you're still engaging the stretch reflex. So to get out of that, you have to bring the arm a different way back. So not going out like this and then coming back in, it's still engaging the stretch reflex. So you come out, bend, and then come back in. So that's a really good 